Alright, we got some uh, classic Bosgate going on here. We got a Rocket Bosgate Punch Power Sub. It's a 12 inch. Got an airplane flying over my house. Anyway, picked these up. I actually have two of these uh, a while ago. Been looking for the Punch Power DVCs, couldn't find them. Ended up selling for a pair of these because the price was right. So I just figured I'd go kind of a, a quick overview with them. Um, basically, just to kind of show everybody. Uh, people always end up saying, oh, these are super expensive to ship and all that fun stuff. I got the pair of these shipped for about 40 bucks, and they were well packed. So basically, I'll just kind of run you over it real quick. It has the spruce pulp comb, rubber surround, cork gasket. It has kind of a hammered finish paint on it. Uh, basket wise and magnet wise, motor wise, things are heavy. Let me put this down. There you go. These are the RFR 1412s. I keep saying these. Like I said, I have two of them. I just didn't bring the other one out. Four inch voice coil. Pretty nice little subs, although there's not really little about them. So the main thing here that I just kind of wanted to show was that this particular sub, I have a scale over here. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Most of the information you can end up finding online about the subs in respects to usually the size and the the detailed specific information this is going to be basically just for weight so i'm going to put this on here that way if you have any questions about it i'll throw this on the scale so it's sitting on the scale this sub by itself we'll call it 20 pounds 12 ounces sitting on there So it's over a 20 pound sub. Take that off. So I figured what I'll start doing is I'll start making some videos. Not good videos. I don't have a fan base, let's say, to go out and make fancy videos and edit them and all that stuff. I just take videos with my phone. Um, I've got a lot of collection built up of Rockford Fosgate stuff. I grew up with it. I was a sucker for it now. I'm a sucker for it then. Um, I've got car stereo stuff off the wazoo. You guys have always probably seen anybody that watches the videos. I've got caps stacked up back here. I've got old Pioneer CD players. My son's Thomas the Train toy over here. Um, so yeah, basically 20 pound plus sub um don't really know what else there is to show these are always notorious if you've ever had a one of these subs you know all about these but these are always kind of notorious for rusting in the voice coil i don't know if you can see that in there or not so that and pitting pitting is also another big thing too so but these baskets, a lot of different subs have used these baskets over the years. Uh, I think there's MTX subs. I've seen the MMATS subs that have had those as well. Um, it seemed like back in the day there was always that one company that ended up making a like multitude of of baskets. Like there was, you know, you'd, there wasn't anything specific about them basket wise. It's just multiple multiple brands had the same basket so anyways that's going to pretty much wrap it up if you have any questions or anything feel free to ask if you want to know height dimensions all that stuff obviously it's a 12 inch sub and a lot of that information can be found on the rockford files gate library but if you have any questions just drop them down below and let me know so if you like the video let me know if not then don't so i'll just keep making more just for my own personal enjoyment kind of building a library of documenting the things that i've owned or things that i've sold or bought or whatever throughout the years so 
keep it classy.